what is up everyone hope all is going well for you welcome back to get jacked now today what we're gonna be doing first off this hair i've got the fro going with the goatee i feel like i look like ron burgundy or something like that it's great <laughs> but anyway uh what we're gonna be doing today a little bit more for the uh, newest patch update and that's gonna be the baryonyx we're gonna go out and tame up this thing um we've seen or my tribe mates have seen quite a few of them uh, going around recently, so we're going to take a look, see if we can find one that's of a decent level. So we've got a ton of sheep, as you can see. I'm trying to shear them as much as possible because this this acts as fur, and because we have so many really good fur blueprints, I want to make sure that we're stocked up on like really good fur armor, and like this is this is the way to do it. I was getting sick of taking the saber out and having to, to kill all the wildlife just to get some fur. So this is really nice. Or pelt. I'm sorry, I'm trying to... I'm, I mean to say pelt, not fur. Um, now in the last uh, video, we tamed up the perlovia, and I've got a few of them around. I'm literally just grabbing any of them that I see in the uh, tundra, because that's where they spawn, and taming them. Because as a trap, they grab someone and they hold them for five about five seconds, and... It doesn't matter what level they are. They still hold them there for five seconds. You can't attack, so it doesn't really matter what their health is. So I haven't been caring about the level. I've just been grabbing as many as I can because I want to fill up this whole island with traps, which I think will be pretty sweet. So maybe a hundred of those and I'll, and I'll be set. Um, actually, I was going to put this in here because it was weighing me down, but I'll just, I guess I'll take a little bit. Now, see, I've got two of them over here, these two guys. Now, people said in the last video that... Um, enemies actually can't see the mound at all so it doesn't matter what color they are if they're buried in the ground it's not gonna it's not gonna matter so we'll just bury these or let me level them up quick i'm just gonna go melee damage hmm they're, they're on aggressive so after they're done trapping someone they should then attack i'm assuming melee is probably gonna be the way to go that one's really low level so i want to make sure i buff his health a little bit but anyway baryonyx is kind of like this reptile that goes in between the land and the water and i want to find a decent level one i guess it's really good for or as like an underwater mount because you can uh, like uh stun things like it does a spin move that stuns things but anyway I i'm trimming up my hair as much as possible to save up on fur um but anyway let's head out we'll find one of these and uh check out what it's like okay so found this guy he's swimming around over here really cool color but really low level so not worth it and so they kind of spawn in like the spinosaurus spawn location so if you see any of those i think that's a parasaur in a rock <laughs> Um, but pretty much anywhere where you've seen Spinosaurus spawn, that's where these things are going to be. I came and checked Red Obby, but it seems like there's only some low-level ones here. They don't seem to be very rare either. There's been quite a few of them that I've flown over, but they've all been really low, so I haven't bothered. I at least want something like, I don't know, 60 plus or something to try out. We don't want to go lower than that, really. It's really pointless. Um, the Perlovia, I'm taming at any level because they're just a trap, but this thing, I actually want a decent one. So, I'm going to keep looking, and uh, we'll find one. Alright, tribe mate, found one. Level 95, so this will be a good start. I hope he can't get over those walls. He looks like he's, start he's trying to. Oh, that's it? Oh, wow. Okay, so level 95 only took three shocking tranquilizer darts. Oh, I probably could have just used arrows. His health's pretty high. For his topor like health to topor ratio now i don't know what his stats are going to come out to or if this is a good one at all his health seems pretty low for a water mount i don't know how this is going to take on anything of decent like size like a i guess you can't really take on plesios or mosasaurs i thought this would be more i don't know like like the um what are they called the megalosaurus i thought it would be similar to that but for the water but they seem to be a little bit weaker now anyway we need to get our i actually brought back a perlovia to tame too but we need to get some prime fish meat for this thing because that's what it's going to take to tame i wish it took mutton because one of the baby uh sheep that my tribe mate was raising died in the process and we got like 150 mutton from it so i wish we could use mutton on this uh baryonyx but We'll have to use it up on some other stuff. I'll definitely use it on the per or, uh, Perlovia to see, like, kind of like, I guess mutton is better than kibble. So that's crazy. Um, I'm going to get this all situated. We're going to find up some prime. We'll be right back. Okay, so I've got this uh, poor little 10 guy down. <laughs> I picked him up, didn't realize he was only level 10. 
But let's toss all this mutton in here and see how that works. Because anything that eats meat... Oh my god. Three. Like, I know he's only level 10, but these are official rates, so things take a decent amount of time. That would have still taken more prime than that. Probably five prime to tame that, or six. But there we go. Got another trap dino. Basically, all these have to be used for is to hold people in turret range. <laughs> like, they just have to hold someone while they get railed by turrets. That's the big point. Um, these might be the way to, like, stop people from, like, C4, naked C4 bombing your base or something. I'm not sure. But anyway, we'll throw these in here. We don't want them to spoil. Probably have to cook them up because we don't have the space for all this. And uh, we'll go get this prime fish meat now. Okay, come here, you salmon. The Therizinosaurus did not work well for prime meat. What the heck is happening? I can't move. Something's going on with the water for me. It's like it's like thinking that I'm falling. Like I'm getting like stuck to the ground. I can't move right now. What the heck? Oh, stop! <laughs> I'm crippled. I can't. I can't get out of the water. Shoot! This is really an issue. I can't move. Let me out. I think it thinks that I'm like flying. It's not registering water, dude. Tyrannodon, come save me. I need this prime fish meat. Holy crap! Help me. Here we go. Come here, you salmon. Oh, that one didn't give me any prime meat. Dang it. Okay. Um. Let's see here. Now, it's... Oh, I'm stuck again. Guys, I'm gonna have to, like, relog or something. But it seems like every... Oh, shoot. Piranhas are coming. Every, uh, saber tooth salmon, when it gives you prime fish meat, it seems the max is two. I've gotten about, uh, 20 so far. We need about 65 for the tame. So, I'm just gonna work my way through this. I'm gonna have to, like, relog or something. Because my, uh, my character's, like, messed up or something. Okay, we gotta make a little pit stop. We've got a Alpha Rex next to the base. Oh my goodness. Let's kill this thing. Okay, so I'm hoping that this Rex... I mean, <laughs> this Rex should be fine, actually. We've got a decent saddle on. It's got like 16k health. It's it's more going to be just the time. It's probably going to take quite a while to kill this thing. Oh, man. <laughs> no, just <laughs> leave it to kill someone's base. <laughs> Oh man, that'd be horrible. Okay, let's murder this thing. Now, it's like right on the other side of the iceberg, but might as well get some experience, see what loot we can get out of this. Whew. I've been attacking this thing for a while. Okay, there we go, there we go. 105 prime meat, that's what I'm talking about. That's more, that's more what we need. Let's just bring all this prime meat back and cook it. Let's see what we got for loot. I guess they don't harvest it anymore. They used to always harvest, like, the, the Rex would just harvest all the stuff, but I guess it's all in the in the bag now. So we got a okay pistol. That's pretty much it. It's really the only thing worth anything in there. Okay. I guess we could always use more pistols. I, I seem to lose those a lot, so <laughs> I'll take that. Um, now we just got to get this Prime back to base and cook it all up. All right, so we cooked up our entire Alpha Rex. I think that's all the prime fish meat we got, okay. And now this thing should be all starved down and ready to tame up. So, let's see here. Hopefully none of this uh, prime fish meat spoils. Now, the nice thing is it has a longer spoil timer than regular prime meat, so you can ferry it back and forth from the river without it expiring too quickly. There, okay. Oh yeah, I think we should have enough. We needed like 65 or something like that. It really doesn't go up like a ridiculous amount. I'm gonna toss this in just to be safe. Oh, I don't think I don't think we're gonna need it. But yeah, the prime fish meat doesn't do like that much per, so you definitely wanna starve this thing down and feed all the prime meat to it. Because I'm assuming that regular fish meat would just take forever with this. But I mean, if you tame it like right over in the river where all the fish are, it's probably pretty easy because you could just easily harvest salmon and fish and all that stuff right where you tame it or knock it out. Out here, we're just getting far away from uh, any rivers with salmon, unfortunately. So I'll learn this. I guess <laughs> I like how both of our pants are broken, by the way. I'm going to go make this saddle here quick. I guess the, uh, the salmon, they target the pants. They go for the legs. Because they actually they actually are really annoying to fight because once you attack one, they all swarm you and they do like this crippling attack that like 
keeps you from moving or something. Okay, what do we need? Fiber? Cool. I hope that's enough. Dang, dang it. Well, this is a pretty easy saddle to make as well. It is a smithy one, so I feel like this is like a mid-level tame. But I think I'm going to put them to use. I think it'll be a really good one to get between here and the mainland to just quick get some meat if he's a good prime harvester. Because getting the wrecks to the other side of the, the ice sucks because the ice just glitches a lot. And you can't really get the wrecks in. Okay, okay. We're good. Let's do this. Let's go see what this thing's all about. I hope that we starved enough. It should be done taming. Oh, yeah. Standing up. Oh, man, I'm excited about this one. I think it looks really cool. If anything, it just looks really awesome. So let's see here. Level 119. The taming effectiveness with the salmon was just horrible. Okay. Oh, it can jump? Oh, that makes it even better. Come get me. Come get me. Now, what I don't get is why the Argentavis can pick this thing up, but the... Perlovia needs a Quetzal to be picked up. Help me. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, what the heck? Come on, man. It's not like I'm jumping and making this difficult or anything. <laughs> okay. We're out of the taming pen. This thing is cool. So, right click is just a normal attack. C is a... What I guess is a taunt. Um, so we'll have to see if that works. I don't know what what you would taunt. Maybe you taunt like a enemy dinosaur or wild dinosaur to bring them to base, but I don't know. I need to eat a little bit of berries. Let's see how quickly it... So it should just go straight from land to water pretty quickly. Same speed. Yeah, seems like it. Cool. So does it have anything, any other attacks hit in the water? Normal. Left click. And... Oh, shoot. Okay. So right click actually spins. Okay, so this is the stun. That will stun anything in a radius and also knock riders off of the back of dinosaurs. We'll have to see how that works. Okay, let me get my scuba stuff and we'll test this thing out. Okay, there aren't any sharks or anything out here. I've been searching, but here's a manta ray. So let's see here. Well, it doesn't aggro on that, which is a, which is a good start because usually rays aggro on you. And we'll attack it. We should be able to... Wait, let's hit it. Is it... Is it stunned? Are you stunned? Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, that's cool. Oh, I just eat you. Oh, that's, that's actually really cool. So that should be about five seconds, and it should be enough time to just, you know, quick stun something and swim away if you're trying to avoid, um, because I'm sure you don't want to kill, like, a plesiosaur. I think it might work on plesiosaurs. I know it doesn't work on mosasaurs or the... Uh, the Kraken thing, the Tula, thi I, I, sorry, I don't know the name of it. I need to tame one, and then I'll memorize the name. Until I until I actually have one, I mean, who cares? Um, anyway, uh, let's find a jellyfish. I do want to test it out on that, see if we can, like, see spin um, stun a jellyfish, because that would be useful. All right, we're coming up on a jelly. Is it Does it affect it? Oh, it definitely affects it. Um, poor choice. Maybe I should have spun. Maybe I should have spun attacked it. For some reason, I was thinking that it wasn't going to affect it. But I'm, I think I'm thinking of the Baleosaurus. The the new... I don't know if I said that right either. Um, the new, like, dolphin thing. I think that one is unaffected by jellyfish. Oh, God. Oh, no. I don't know. Oh, jeez. I just need to get some distance before I put it on. <laughs> I had to get some distance from that jellyfish. If he knocks me out, it's over. Okay. Okay. Let's grapple away. Why is it, is it like the fastest jellyfish ever? I didn't bring, <laughs> I didn't bring uh, scuba flippers. I'm gonna just make my way towards my. Oh, what the heck! I just took fall damage from that. What? That almost killed me, actually. That would not have been good. Okay, let's let's spin attack and see if that works. Uh oh, uh oh, oh! Oh, he definitely spun on it, and it definitely is not stunned. Why well, don't have I have, st I have stone arrows? Um, bullets do not help me underwater. Can you get off of my dude, please? Shoot. Okay, um... I guess I just have to kill this thing with a pike? Is that possible? Okay, we're gonna have to murder it. This is actually the first time I've been caught by one of these jellyfish things. These are dangerous. Die. Stop. Leave them alone. Oh, jeez, I'm, I'm... 
I'm shocked. Oh, you can still swing when you're shocked. Oh, okay, that's not too bad then. Regardless, are you okay, buddy? All right, he's all good. All right, let me gather this. I don't think he's gonna be of too good of use against jellyfish. <laughs> We're gonna have to tame up the other new aquatic dino to actually help us with those. But the sea spin attack's pretty cool. Um, tranking like the mantas and stuff is gonna be really easy. So I have to tame up like a, a whole bunch of those to guard my my island. Now I'll head back to base. This guy's not working correctly. He's like not swimming fast. I don't know why. All right, so somehow made it back safely. He was all glitched out from that jellyfish for some reason, so it took me like forever to get back. Now, I was shearing the sheep, but my scissors broke like they always do. I really need like a really high level scissor blueprint. And then they'll have like a really high durability and I won't be wasting all of it. Uh, they did up the boot, like the drops on Scorched Earth a ton. Oh my God, I can't shut this trap door. So, my uh, tribe mate's been stocking up on those when he's been over there. So we've had a decent amount of blueprints. Now, the mutton itself, I actually cooked up some of it into lamb chops. And this these lamb chops are actually still better than prime. Or, or at least close to prime. And they stack like this. And they like have a spoil timer of a full day. So literally, this is going to be like the way to tame. You want to find as many sheep as possible. We have been finding them kind of like as a rare spawn in the tundra. So if you're close to the tundra, fly over it all the time. You'll find some sheep. Um, but in Scorched Earth, there are quite a few of them as well. We did have all these filled up, but it looks like they've spoiled. So that's where we're going to stop for today. If you liked the video, definitely hit that thumbs up and or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You all have a great rest of your day. We'll catch you next time.